Major changes announced today at the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. The nonprofit has found an interim CEO as it continues the search for a permanent replacement there. The replacement follows the disappearance of hundreds of missing small pets sent to Tucson from San Diego and their Humane Society there. They included rabbits, hamsters, and guinea pigs, but it's still not clear what happened to them all. This is where Tucson's Chorus Nylander first broke this story and has been following it since. He joins us live from the west side with what this new CEO brings to the table for the nonprofit Chorus. Well, Sean, I can tell you this new interim CEO brings with her decades of experience managing nonprofit organizations with a focus on rebuilding reputations, and that's exactly what the Humane Society of Southern Arizona needs right now as they're in the middle of one of their biggest challenges ever. Rest assured that we will hire new interim and permanent leaders that will establish better protocols to make sure that all animals rescued and placed by the Humane Society will be placed in safe environments. That was the promise from Robert Garcia, the chairman of the board for the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, two weeks ago, as he also announced the firing of former CEO Steve Farley and resignation of COO Christian Gonzalez. Part of that promise is coming true today as they announce the hiring of new interim CEO Beth Morrison, who brings 25 years of nonprofit leadership experience with a focus on rebuilding damaged organizations. She wasn't available for an interview today, but provided the following statement saying, quote, I am honored to serve as the interim CEO for the Humane Society of Southern Arizona during this time of transition. HSSA has played an important role in our community for eight decades, and I pledge to work hard to move HSSA forward and to regain the community's trust. We really liked that Beth, um, she's navigated organizations through crisis before. Um, and she's turned them around. HSSA is certainly damaged right now after what could have been a celebrated transfer of 318 rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, and rats from the San Diego Humane Society, but it turned into a nightmare after the fate of 256 of them remains a mystery. Garcia admitting they were given to the Jones family in Maricopa County, which isn't licensed and has ties to reptile breeding. We demand answers. Kelly Galligan, president of the Friends of Bisbee Animal Rescue, has been crucial in exposing the situation. She feels Morrison is a good temporary choice, but expects more from the full-time CEO. I think Beth is a good choice. I hope that for the full-time CEO, they choose someone with real animal welfare experience. And I can tell you that, according to Chairman Garcia, is their intentions. He tells me Morrison's tenure is expected to last about six months as they continue looking for a final permanent CEO that they hope has some more uh, direct animal welfare experience. As far as the animals, their welfare of the, the 256 still remains a mystery tonight. There is that third party investigation. It's still ongoing. Hasn't been, been able to conclusively determine at this point what has happened to all those animals. So certainly still a lot more to come out of this. We're going to keep you updated. We're live from the west side tonight. Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.